Hello and welcome to another episode of E&D's How to Make Tech Easy. Today we're going to talk about music streaming using two different types of cables. Ethernet, which is our traditional network cable that everyone is very familiar with, versus fiber optic cable. And is it any better or worse to stream music with a fiber optic cable versus the Ethernet cable, which is copper wire? For background, let me tell you about the system behind me that allows me to listen to streaming music. I have a custom built PC up top, which is the Straycom FC8 Alpha chassis, fanless, with an Intel motherboard, memory, solid state drive for local music, network card, your traditional Ethernet network card, and a JCAT. USB card that's powered by a separate linear power supply by Shanti, Shanti power supply. By powering this with an iFi Power 2 uh, power device, which is what you see right here, and this is known as a higher quality powering device. So that's the experiment, and to see if I can hear a difference between an Ethernet cable directly from the switch or introducing a fiber connection between the switch and the PC with the transceiver. So you can see in the diagram, that's how I've hooked up the fiber strand between the switch and the transceiver. The differences are not big, but it's noticeable when you do a direct AB comparison between Ethernet and fiber. The, the differences that I heard were in the fullness of vocals and instruments having more of a presence, i.e. lower mid-range or upper bass was more pronounced than it was before, more detail around instruments, some more airiness around instruments, more separation of instruments, more depth of sound stage. Uh, so I would say overall there was an improvement, but not dramatic and not something you would even know unless you did an A-B comparison on my system to my ears. Your system to your ears could be different. To provide you with the uh, playback list, I will read off of my iPhone. So the first song that I listened to was a song called The Wind That Shakes the Barley, Dead Can Dance, uh, basically single vocal uh, woman vocal, um, very airy, very full sound stage. Um, more detail was heard with the fiber, uh, more of a presence, like I said, and her voice that was just, you know, right there. This is Tito Puente, El Cayuco, the 1959 recording, I believe, on Living Mercury Presence record, which I have, also via streaming service on Tidal. This particular version, um, is not a high res, it's a CD quality. Definitely more pop on the bongos, the drums, the vocals, uh, bigger sound stage. Not tremendous, but definitely noticeable versus the original Ethernet cable. Next track was Blackbird by the Beatles, 2018 mix. Um, outstanding vocals, obviously. Uh, great recording, guitar, everything just came right through with a lot more detail than I noticed uh, with the Ethernet cable. The next one was Burt Bacharach, The Look of Love. This is uh, off of the 20th Century Masters record. It's CD and high res. I listened to both through Cobuzz, and I'm only listening to Cobuzz, by the way. I don't listen to Tidal or through Tidal. Uh, this recording, great trumpet section, saxophone, um, great presence, orchestra, xylophone. Uh, you heard it all. Violins, background, cymbals on the drums, the, the uh, with the brushes, uh, quite, quite, quite good. Next one was Nancy with the laughing face, Frank Sinatra singing the solo uh, song, recorded live in Chicago. Um, I have the DVD. Uh, this was the streaming version from from uh, Koba's CD quality. Uh, his voice 
was right there. Um, great recording, one of the best renditions that Frank Sinatra has of uh, uh, that he made of Nancy and the Living, a Laughing Face. Uh, terrific recording, uh, but you know when he's on stage and you hear the uh, the surround sound of the cocktail glasses clinging, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, vocals, etc., from from the audience. Uh, this just puts you right there. So that's the feedback I wanted to give to you. I wanted you to you know take it for what it's worth. It's what I heard from my system with my equipment uh, when I compared just that Ethernet section, right, with, with changing it out with fiber to basically eliminate the electric noise that you would get with copper and see if that made a difference. And as I said, it wasn't a tremendous difference, but it was a noticeable difference when I did the direct AB comparison. So thank you for listening. I hope you like this video. Like it if you do with a click. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, terrific. Look forward to having you as a subscriber as well. And thank you for your time today. Welcome to comments below. By the way, all the music that I just read to you will be listed in the section right below the video. And thank you.